Edward P. Joseph is a senior fellow at the Johns Hopkins University School of Advanced International Studies and Foreign Policy Analyst. Mr. Joseph is now joining us live from Washington, D.C. Mr. Joseph, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good to be with you. The West is awash with claims that Russian President Vladimir Putin killed Alexei Navalny. There's a committee that is probing his death and circumstances that led to his untimely death. But what if the report says otherwise? What will happen? Uh, I, well, I can't believe uh, the, a, a report would say otherwise. I, I, uh, um, the, the United States, all of its allies, <clears throat> all of those who are familiar with Russia and the Russian system know that uh, Mr. Navalny was in the custody of the uh, Russian uh, prison authorities. He looked completely healthy just in a video in, in the court just from last week where he was joking with the judge, uh, uh, looked completely healthy. Uh, uh, doctors have stated that it is highly unlikely that uh, his death would be, have been the result of the poisoning that you referred to. So it's, uh, it, it's highly, highly unlikely that there's any uh, cause of this other than a uh, order from Vladimir Putin. And, and again, this is what's so important about this, is what it says about Vladimir Putin and his regime. Mm -hmm. Why would he feel the need to, to kill a man who's in prison, who's, who's in a prison in the Arctic Circle? Uh, and this is what I hope uh, across um, the what is called now the Global South, and in those countries where so many citizens have been ambivalent about the Russian aggression against Ukraine, will now open their eyes and see the reality of Vladimir Putin's regime and who he is and why he's waging this war. Um, Alexander Navalny represents, Alexei Navalny represents exactly what Putin is about and the fear that grips Putin of any type of opposition to his rule. Please. Mr. Joseph, what next for Russia and all those who oppose Vladimir Putin's rule or regime? Well, in the short run, this is very bad for Vladimir Putin because this uh, exposes the, the sympathizers of, uh, of um, Putin in the West and, uh, and, of course, anyone at home, but particularly in the West. And we see this most pronounced here in the United States with Donald Trump, who's been exposed now on the defensive. In, now, he hasn't until now even commented on the Navalny death. So, um, uh, uh, and, and he's being criticized. President Biden has called him out. Nikki Haley, his Republican opponent, has called out Trump for his recent comments, stating that he would encourage Russia to attack NATO states. Uh, his great sympathizer, Trump's great sympathizer, the, the uh, uh, news correspondent, Tucker Carlson, is being criticized for his passive interview hmm. of Vladimir Putin. So th this is already having uh, repercussions here in the United States. It's exposing Trump to criticism. It's exposing Republicans who have so far uh, not approved continuing aid to Ukraine. It's exposing them, putting them in a very awkward position. So in the short run here in the United States, elsewhere around the globe, this is not good for Vladimir Putin. Of course, at home, he, he will uh, has uh, uh, complete domination and obviously does not fear uh, protests at home, please. Mr. Joseph, finally, and this is briefly, I know this is too early to talk about or even insinuate, but is there a likely or possible replacement for Navalny? Uh, well, there are other figures who are uh, themselves now at risk and, and in prison. So um, it, it's unlikely that there is such an opponent and which explains, Eric, your question is a very good one because it explains why uh, uh, Putin would need to eliminate uh, uh, Navalny, because Navalny represented a, a unique type of threat to him, a, a quite charismatic and incredibly brave, as President Biden correctly pointed out, returning to Russia after having been poisoned, knowing that he would definitely be imprisoned and, and likely end up with this type of a fate. So uh, it, it, that type of courage, that type of charisma uh, and following, widespread following that he had, and, and particularly his attacks, very effective attacks on the abject corruption of Putin and the Putin regime. Uh, there, yes, there are other opponents. 
but uh, there is not an immediate replacement. And again, that goes far to explaining why Vladimir Putin, who will be running for re-election, so wanted Navalny out of the picture. Please. All right, I've been talking to Mr. Edward P. Joseph, who's a senior fellow at the Johns Hopkins University School of Advanced International Studies. He's also a foreign policy analyst. Mr. Joseph, thank you very much for talking to us today. You're welcome. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.